All right, I officially welcome you to my YouTube channel. My name is Seth. In this video, I'm going to, I mean, before I start this video, let me say a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all my fans. I mean, those who have been watching my videos, those who have been commenting, sharing, and then liking, it's because of you that I'm most motivated to make new videos, okay? And I want to promise you that I'm ready to give you every information you need to probably I mean, have your journey um, to the UK. And just, I mean, trust me on that, okay? Now, in this video, you see, I've got a lot of people asking me different questions about opportunities to work in the UK. You know, I've been making videos about opportunities in the healthcare profession in the UK here. And after making series of videos, I've got people from different sectors, like um, contractors, um, carpentry, and a whole lot of that, asking me as to whether they also have the chance to work in the UK. Now, in this video, I have made a research about this, and I'm going to show you the UK occupation search list. These are occupations in the UK that have a lot of vacancies for people from different parts of the world, okay? So if it's your desire to work in here and you belong to any other profession, I believe that watching this video to the end will go a long way to basically help you as to whether you stand a chance of coming here to work and then pursue whatever category you fall in. So without wasting much time, why don't you come with me as we look at that? Alright, welcome back. What I do on this channel is very simple. I try to share my experience with regards to working in the UK and I look into I mean different methods you can come in here and work. Um my journey has to do with trying to help young African nurses and basically nurses around the world to um enhance their career in here. But um, I got to realize that there are a lot of opportunities for other sectors as well. So in this video, we are going to look at them. Now, it is much more of a research, and um, I'm just going to show you the occupation shortlist. Okay, um, I want you to see it for yourself so that you are able to discover the category you belong to. Now, if you see your job category on the list, then it means that you stand a chance of working in the uk okay because these are the real jobs they need people to come in here and then i mean occupy the various vacancies uh, okay so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to um type in here uk shortage wait let me click on this occupation list all right so let's go for the first one skilled worker visa shortage occupation check which jobs are on the shortage occupation list in each area of the uk so that's what we are going to look at at this particular moment there are a lot of other links we can also explore to see so if your job is on the list you can be paid 80% of the job's usual going rate to qualify for a skilled worker visa. You know, there are different visas you would need to come to the UK, okay? I know we have the family care visa, we have the um, senior care visa, we have the health care visa, and the skilled worker visa. I mean, I'll make a research into that. But once you have your job category on this list, then you are permitted to have the skilled worker visa to come in here and work. So the main purpose of this video is to show you the various shortage list with regards to occupations in here in the UK. I just want to help you discover your job category in here. Okay, so let's look at the first one. Um, health services and public health managers and directors. So every job has got an occupation um, code here. Okay. And we have the job types included on the shortage occupation list. And we have areas of the UK where there is a shortage. All right. So when we consider the health services and public health managers and directors, all jobs, this job, I mean, there are vacancies in England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. For those who may not know, you know, UK comprises of um, four basic, is it four? 
yeah four basic i mean countries okay we have england scotland wales and then northern ireland so these four countries come together to form uk okay so if you want to be i mean if your job category is in the health sector i mean a nurse midwife um pharmacist and a whole lot of that then you are on the list here you qualify to work in the uk it's up to you to discover the process i mean you ask yourself how is it going to be possible how am i going to start that's the question you should ask yourself now let's move on to the next one residential day and domiciliary care managers and proprietors all jobs so this category of job can be found in all parts of uk in england scotland Wales, northern ireland okay um, I don't actually know the residential, the, and I don't know the category of people who fall in this um, area, but I believe, I mean, you can make research, okay, and try to find out if you belong to this category. We also have chemical scientists, only jobs in the nuclear industry, and this is Scotland only. So if you want to work in the um, England, Wales, and you belong to this category, I mean, chemical scientists, then um, I think... You can't go out and choose this for yourself, okay? We also have biological scientists and biochemists, all jobs. So if you live outside UK and you are a biological scientist or biochemist, I mean, there is a job vacancy for you. You can still apply. We also have physical scientists. Only the following jobs in the construction-related ground engineering industry. Engineering geologists. We also have physical scientists, only the following. So, I mean, we have various physical scientists, and you must look through this to see if you have yours in here. We have social and humanity scientists, only archaeologists. We have civil engineers, all jobs. There are vacancies in all parts of the UK. We have mechanical engineers. We have electrical engineers. We also have design and development engineers so if you belong to this category you qualify to work in the uk production and process engineers engineering professionals not elsewhere classified so the general impression here is that if you are an engineer whichever category you can still apply i mean there are vacancies in here okay you can take advantage of you have it business analyst architect and system designers so those who are into the it profession i mean those who are well versed in computers and a lot of that, you also have, um, I mean, you belong to this list. And if you are in Africa or any part of the world and you desire to work in the UK as an IT analyst or IT architect, then, I mean, there's an opportunity for you here. We have programmers and software development professionals. Wow. So those who develop softwares, you also have the chance to um, work in the UK. Web design and development professionals, you also stand the chance. Information technology and communication professionals, not elsewhere classified, only cyber security specialists. We have veterinarians, and uh, you also, I mean, there are job vacancies in England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland as well. We have actuaries, economics, and statisticians, architects, quality control and planning engineers. We also have laboratory technicians, artists, dancers, and choreographers. And uh, only skilled classical ballet dancers or skilled contemporary dancers. So if you have the talent, I mean, if you are good at dancing and all of that, there are opportunities here for you. We have musicians, okay? Um, act officers, producers, and directors. So those in the movie industry. We have graphic designers. I mean, my place. Yeah, I love to graphic design. So if you're a graphic designer and it's your desire to work in the UK, you fall on the shortage list. And it's up to you to look out for how to get to the uk okay the process is what matters you have wedding treats and then senior care workers so this is basically a sector of the healthcare system it's something new that has been introduced okay so if you are interested in this area it's up to you to look out for the process and how to go about it so this is basically the various jobs on the uk occupation shortage list now i just want to show you something very quick it might happen that you don't have your, I mean, your category of job is not specified in here. I want to show you how to look out for, I mean, your job. I mean, I just want to show you how you can really identify as to whether 
you qualify to come in here and work no matter the job category you belong to so we are going to click on this all you have to do is to just i mean there are two options here if you want to know more about an occupation code please type it here so if you know your occupation code you just have to type it here and then you can read more about it okay and uh, the second option here is if you need to find an occupation code let's say i don't know whether nursing falls on the category so what i have to do is to just go here and then type nursing or just nurse that will be fine and i'll click on search all right so you can see the categories of nurses over here all i have to do is to just look through and then pick which one i belong to so i'm a nurse adult i'll click on that and then there are job descriptions there are everything here you need to know i mean you have to read to basically know as to whether you fall on the list or you are deemed to practice here in the uk okay so this is basically what i want to show you and the last thing i would like to also let you know has to do with the fact that if you are in the healthcare profession and you basically want to i mean no as to whether you are you also qualify um, there's an option here shortage occupations if you work in healthcare or education so let's click on that so now we are going to click on the skilled worker visa shortage occupation for healthcare and education okay and it will display all the categories of jobs under the healthcare system so we have medical practitioners psychologists pharmacists medical radiographers health professionals not elsewhere, physiotherapist, occupational therapist, speech and language therapist, nurses, secondary education teaching professionals, only teachers in math, physics, I mean, so teachers, you stand the chance, okay? Secondary education teaching professionals, primary education teaching professionals, social workers, paramedics, nursing auxiliaries. So, I believe that you watching me, I mean, you belong to any one of these, okay? So it's up to you to just discover the process. I mean, the question you should ask yourself is, how do I start and where do I start from? That's the most important thing. And I believe that once you get to ask questions, you'll get answers to them. Well, um, I want to promise you that we're coming up with ways to actually start all these processes. And uh, for you to get them, um, what I want you to do is that just subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button right under this video. I really appreciate you for always supporting me and then watching my videos, okay? It's because of you that I'm always motivated to make videos. Um, let's meet in my next video. And before I take leave of you, what I want to say is that every link you need to have access to this occupation shortage list is in the description box, okay? Just, I mean, I mean check that one out. And uh, I would also want you to become a patron, you know, who a patron is is just some i mean you just have to be part of um a category of community where we learn together okay so you get most of my videos in a systematic order to watch so the link is in the description box just click on that and it's very easy to become a patron it's very easy to become part of the family thank you hope to see you in my next video